The network effect. This is such an unbelievably important concept that relates to cryptocurrencies. So important, in fact, that I believe the network effect alone will determine which cryptocurrencies are successful in the long term and which are not. It's fair to say this is one of the most important concepts to understand if you're considering investing into the cryptocurrency market in the long term. Hi, I'm Tom from Crypto Gurus, and if you want to learn more, keep watching. Remember that nothing in this video or on this channel is financial advice. These videos are simply made for entertainment purposes only. I'm gonna flash up the full disclaimer now. Please pause the video and read it. What is the network effect? The network effect is the idea that when there are more people using a particular network, the value of that network grows. Let's use a couple of examples to explain that better. Facebook, would you really use it if there weren't many people worldwide, including your friends using it? If they didn't have that large network of people using it, would you really create an account and use it on a daily basis? Probably not. However, because they do have such a large network of people worldwide, it goes from being something you would not want to sign up to, to being something that's very difficult to not have an account for. Just about everyone I know has a Facebook account, and that really comes from the fact that everyone they know has a Facebook account as well. Airbnb is another great example of this. If you were to travel to a new city and you wanted to rent a room in someone's house, would you use Airbnb or would you use an Airbnb competitor? You probably pick Airbnb because there's going to be 10 times the number of listings on their website. In other words, you're going to use it because they have a huge network of people using it already. Network effects are very difficult to build, but extremely powerful once they are because they're self-reinforcing. Let's use Airbnb as an example. To begin with, there was no liquidity on Airbnb. There was no one listing their room to rent out and there was no one looking to rent out a room because they had virtually no network of people using it. There were virtually no buyers or sellers. It discouraged anyone else from using it. After all, why would you wanna go on a website to search for a room? when no one else is listing a room on that website? Or why would you want to list your room when there's no buyers? Now though, you're using it because everyone else is using it. If a new person that's never used Airbnb or one of their competitors decides that they need to use Airbnb or a competitor, they're probably gonna pick Airbnb simply because everyone else is using it. And therefore, there are more listings. Even if those competitors take a significantly smaller cut and offer a far better service, Airbnb is probably always gonna be more popular simply because more people are using it. So it's kind of like a chicken and the egg scenario. No one wanted to use Airbnb to begin with because no one else was using it. But once everyone else is using it, it has a very powerful self-reinforcing effect. We also see that with Facebook as well. How does this impact cryptocurrencies? In the current world, there are some industries which are heavily impacted by network effects and others which really aren't very much at all. For example, social media is very heavily impacted. You're not gonna use a social media application unless your friends are using it as well. But once your friends are, it's very difficult for you to say no to it. The sharing economy is another popular example as well. So that's companies such as Airbnb, Uber, eBay, etc. With cryptocurrencies, it's my personal belief that virtually all of them will be highly affected by network effects, much more so than regular companies. Why? Because cryptocurrencies at their core are a decentralized network. If there aren't people contributing to the network, running nodes, mining, buyers, sellers, etc., the truly decentralized cryptocurrencies wouldn't even function. For example, there are many Bitcoin miners operating right now which assist Bitcoin in processing transactions and remaining secure. 
With cryptocurrencies, unlike regular companies, there isn't a single entity at the middle which can pay people to work for them. Cryptocurrencies rely entirely on building a large network effect in order to function correctly and achieve long-term success. This is why I believe the network effect is the single most important factor for determining whether a cryptocurrency is going to be successful in the long term. People may instead point at technological improvements at the blockchain core and say that that's more important than the network effect. But look at the two biggest cryptocurrencies around, Bitcoin and Ethereum. What do they have in common? Two things. Number one, they both have slow, outdated blockchains and there are undoubtedly significant technical improvements to both in the market today. Number two, they're the two biggest cryptocurrencies around in spite of this because they have significantly larger network effects than any other cryptos. How do projects build a network effect then? There is no one set method, but there are definitely factors which contribute to it. I'll give a few examples now. Remember there are more though, so please look into this yourself as well. Number one, partnerships and building a network of projects to work with them. Any project which has a lot of partnerships and has many other cryptocurrency projects working with them is more likely to be able to build that successful network in the future. Number two, for infrastructure projects, the key factor could well be hosting a large number of projects on your blockchain. You could have the fastest blockchain in the world and it could be the best technically, but if nobody is using it, no one's building their decentralized application on top of it, you have no network effect and your project is gonna be worth basically nothing. And number three, correctly incentivizing people in the community to contribute to the network. As I mentioned before, truly decentralized projects will have to rely on correctly incentivizing participants to help maintain the network, such as miners with Bitcoin. These principles mostly apply to investing in the long term and not so much the short term, because as you know, with cryptocurrencies, the short term is mostly affected by hype and speculation. But it's an unbelievably important factor for the long term. And I personally believe that the projects which are able to build the biggest network effects will be the most successful. Forget about the technical aspects, because we've seen time and again in history that the best technical products or projects don't always win. It's the projects or products which are most popular and build a large network effect that tend to win in the long run. Just Google Betamax versus VHS if you want a fantastic example of that. This is why I personally believe Bitcoin and Ethereum will be very, very difficult to beat in the long run. Bitcoin particularly, I think it's just too far ahead in terms of being a digital gold no other project will probably ever catch it in that sense at least. The network effect is probably just insurmountable. However, certain projects such as EOS may threaten Ethereum in the future if they have significant backing from a large network and are able to launch a number of killer applications on their blockchain. Killer applications means apps which are popular with the mainstream, not just the crypto community, we're talking regular people using them on a daily basis as well. 